are today in Mach 3 and I wanted to show you a custom screen I just recently finished which is somewhat different than I normally do. I was recently contacted by a gentleman who was interested in a screen for a miter box to move a stop so that he could have predefined cut lengths and he got the idea from a gentleman on YouTube, uh, Bellevue Woodshop. Uh, I contacted this gentleman, his name is Roy, and uh, here is his video. I will post the link in the video description. A very different way of using Mach 3 than we traditionally use for a CNC router or milling machine or lathe. We're simply just moving a shoe from one position to another in order to uh, set a stop for our cut links. So let me show you kind of what I've got here. So the way this works is you're going to have a miter box set up on a table like so. And what I did was I used the z-axis and the shoe will move along the z-axis at pre at whatever length you desire and then you simply throw a piece of stock in here make a cut and that will be uh, you can just keep repeating this until the shoe moves so zero would be the actual saw here and then this would be your maximum length whatever travel you happen to be so we'll home the shoe somewhere in this position you'll make a cut and let's say that cut is 10 inches then we will go to here turn this on we'll reference our machine we'll make sure we're on fixture one here which is a 90 degree cut and we'll just simply type in whatever measurement we happen to get when we made our test cut now we have our machine set up if we were doing a 45 degree cut, then it would measure from this edge to the shoe, and that would be our second fixture. We would simply make our cut, take that measurement, type that into the DRO, and then we would have that one set. Same for 30, 22 and a half. These are just predefined offsets that I have set up. Now let's say you want to measure from the short side. You can make your 45 and you'll measure from the short side type in that dimension and then you will have these fixtures set up so that's kind of how those fixtures right here work we also have predefined or user defined links here so let's say you want to make something that's 72 and an eighth you simply press 6 here and it'll move to whatever dimension you happen to type in right here so 72 and a half then you can just sit there and if you've got five or six pieces that you have cut you can just type those in move quickly to each piece if you want to move to a random dimension then you can type that in here that's your target distance you can tell it to move to target and it will move to this length here down here we have jog buttons where we can manually jog it in whichever increment you have set up pressing tab currently we have it set up for a quarter inch step so every time I press this it will move in a quarter inch increment if I press continuous then it will move as long as I hold the button down it will just move the shoe back and forth now the park position is somewhere over here so that you're clear and you can throw up a random length here and measure it yourself and manually cut it and if you want to move to the park position you simply type in that dimension there and press the park button it will just wrap it over to that position over here we can have a cut list so let's say you want some G-code here, cut list. We can load our cut list. 
So we want to make something that's 2 inches, 1 inches, 24 inches, and 15 and 3 quarters. So let's say we want to run our cut list here. You simply click Run Cut List. And it will go step down from line to line to each cut. So we'll hit Next Cut. We're going to move to 2 inches. Then our next cut will be 1 inch, 24 inches, and 15 and 3 quarters. So you can kind of see how this works. We hit stop and it'll rewind and we can continue on. Do it again. So you can see it's pretty simple. We're just using our Z axis to move uh, the shoe from one position to the other along the Z axis here. I thought this was really interesting. Uh, it's something different that <clears throat> we don't normally see with Mach 3. Mach 3 is very versatile in terms of um, what you different types of machinery you can use uh, and operate. Guys, thanks for watching. Stop by and check out Bellevue Wood Shop. He does a, a lot of different machinery. He has a lot of different uh, machines that he homemade machines, clamps, um, all sorts of uh, different devices. I've been fascinated by a lot of his stuff. Uh, years ago, I was an avid woodworker, and so I can relate to a lot of these different uh, machines. Well, that's it for this video. If you're interested in a custom Mach 3 screen set, for your particular project, contact me and we'll see if we can custom make a screen for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching and most importantly, be safe.